Tutorial time. Uh, dance Gavin Dance Exposed. Introduction. Here we go. Okay, so this bit's quite simple. It is 15 and 15 on your first and second strings. And then we do 16 and 17 on your third string. And we do three of those. Uh, and then your last time we do 15, 15 again, but we go 19 and 17 on your top string. So, so all together, three of these. Two, three. Fourth one, uh, and that's your four rounds, and we do that twice, and then on your third time we do, which just slows down the last two notes of the first bit, uh, and that's it for your intro. Moving on from there, we have your first chordy bit, which is a C major chord. So that's the third fret, A major bar shape. Then we move up to E minor which is 7th fret, A minor bar shape. And then we move up to G, which is 10th fret with your major bar shape again. Uh, straight strumming. Uh, and that's your chorus. From there, we are onto your verse section, uh, which is a clean part, just like the intro. Uh, it's got a reverb and like a sparkly type effect on it. And there's one guitar that sounds like it's just standard and the other one has got an octave pedal on it so I think what I've worked out is kind of a mix of both of them um, and it goes like this which is your first little lick and um, so we are on your B string and we go 12 15 and then we do 12 and 12 on your top string Uh, and then we jump down to your third string and do two G's. And then go to 12 on your B string. So. And then your next little part goes. Which is 15, 14 on your top string, 15 on your second string, and then two 12s on first and second string. So. And that first one repeats again. And then your third one does the same bit at the start. Uh, only. Goes 15, 14, 12, 12 on the end instead of. So just slight variations in it. Uh, and then from there we do So we do 12 and 15, but instead of 12 and 12, we do 12 and right up to 17 on your top string. And then it is. So the 12 bit's pretty much the same. 12, 12 on your G, and then 12 on your B. And we go 15, 14, 12, 15 on your second string, and 12 on your second string. And then your last one. It's the same as your third one, I think. Um, on my cover, I just varied it ever so slightly because uh, it does change a bit. And you can kind of play around and improvise a little bit with it because uh, there's two guitars in very similar ranges doing very similar things. So just play about, and that's what I do. So your next section out of that is this one. <laughs> So this starts with a C major 7 chord, uh, which is 3rd fret with 5, 4, 5, like your A major 7 bar shape, um, and then you have that sort of rhythm, and at the end of that we jump up to um, an octave chord on B, which is 9th fret 
on your D string and 12th fret on your B string. So. And then from there we go to an E minor, which is the same rhythm as you see. Um, and that's followed by two little leading notes that take you back to that C, which is A string, open A, and then B, second fret. Uh, so. Uh, and it's that two times, three times, four times. So do that sometimes. And on the last time, don't go back to the C, go up to, which is a five and a five on your uh, A and D strings. So I tend to bar that and then do a seven and a seven on your second and third string. Uh, followed by this riff, which is five on your A, and then seven and five uh, to an open E. That's the one. After that, another guitar comes in with. Uh, so I jump up and play that, and then go back to those chords again. So that riff is uh, sixteen on your G, and then 15 and 17 on your B. Then we go 19, 17, 15, 17 on your top string, so. And then back to. Same as that bit with those three notes on the end, which is just eight, seven, and five. Um, and that's that section that takes you back into your chords again for your chorus and then it repeats the whole um, verse bit all that lot again uh, and then we're into one different section which goes like this so this starts with a C major 7, uh, and then we jump down to a G major 7, so same shape, just move it across. And again, I think I'm mixing two guitar parts here, but it sends and feels good to me to jump up, which is 11 and 9 on your 3. And then we jump down to... Which is five on your A, seven, back to that five again. So five, seven on your E, back to that A, uh, and then seven, three, five, and then three, five, seven. For your first time round, your second time round. You just stop on that uh, fifth fret on that A. Uh, third time round is the same as the first one. And your fourth one uh, goes, uh, which is a little harmonic type thing. So if you play harmonics all on the seventh fret. Uh, starting top string and uh, it's picking kind of triplets but two on each note so it's one two three one two three one two three one two three one two three, one, two, three. odd timing um, but then we're back into the chorus again at the end which is your C and your E minor and your G uh, you ride that out for a bit, uh, six times I think altogether, there's a couple of extra ones, and you finish on a C, and fade out, and you're done. So thank you for watching, uh, let me know in the comments if I have missed anything out, I don't think I have, but you never know, I'm generally useless, so I might have done. I'll see you soon.